And I will read it. It will say to add windows to the children's library, children's room at the library. What number is that? Number 37. 37. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $43,525 for the purpose of adding three new windows to the children's room at the Lane Memorial Library. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until the purpose of said article is completed or by March 31st, 2019, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Would you just like to speak on it really quick so that we can have sure, some information absolutely. on it? absolutely. Um, I will say just preamble to all of this. I started in 2008. The question was, are we going to be this place where we build a new library, we're going to stick in the library we have? Very early on, I said, we're sticking with the library we have. This building is phenomenal. It was given to the town for the purpose of being the library. Why would we abandon it when it has so much already going really well for it? Um, with that said, the children's room is beautiful but subterranean. And so you spend a little bit of time down there and you start to feel like you're trapped in a Walmart or a box store, something with no fresh air, no sunlight. Um, the wall that actually, we share the parking lot, the wall that shares the parking lot at the town hall um, is the wall that the children's room has. Um, I say subterranean, it's one third above ground, two thirds below ground, and so we do have two small windows there, but the wall is partitioned in such a way that there are five spaces. Three of the spaces had HVAC equipment hanging from the ceiling and two had the windows. When we did the HVAC work two years ago, we had that equipment all relocated so it's no longer in the ceiling, giving us that option to open up those three spaces for windows in the future. Should this succeed, we'd have a continuous wall of light coming into the room. We'd be able to open up those windows. Um, it's a minor element, but both of the exits for that room lead to the same direction within the building. If there was an emergency, we're anticipating these three windows would open wide enough for people to actually get out of with, a, with the assistance of a ladder or something like that so that it's never going to happen, but if there was some major catastrophe, both of those exits in the children's room lead you to the same catastrophe if it's right there. And so this way, you could be really fleeing away from those things. So that's a small element to those windows as well. Any questions? So moved. Second. I'm just going to, on discussion, Yep. I know it's a small amount of money, but we're going to have some huge amount of money in Warren articles this year. And I think I, th I think we really ought to think whenever we're on money articles. I mean, uh, <laughs> I've thought about it. Okay. I, I think we, I mean, I, I agree 100%, but I just feel like we have to really be careful here. I feel like it's not the right year. I, that's what I feel like because mm. there's going to be so many of the big ones. And it may be not the right year for some of the big ones, too. And some, not sometimes you might get the little windows for the kids mm. in the library. I, well, and I, I, I'm usually a believer that we leave it up to the voters. So. Okay. So, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? 4-1. One opposed? There you go. Thank you very much.